the collection. I thought I'd tell you why I collect items from the Vietnam War. I do so because it's just such an important chapter in US history and world history uh, that affects us now to this day. It was the first televised war that led to uprise and activism and protest. It also had a massive cultural impact on America, leading to great music, the hippie movement, and more. So let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the web gear setup. This is our M1956 pattern. We've got two ammo pouches, two canteens. One's got the cup. And we've got the e-tool, shovel, and the carrier. Uh, got the butt pack. And then, of course, the poncho. I'm missing the poncho straps, but I'll get them soon enough. This poncho was dated 1963. And all these items also around that time. These are my Vibram sole boots. You can see they read spike protection. Sometimes we're into school, fit me just fine. Here's an army cap. And then got five Vietnam War M1 helmets. These are mostly Ingersoll and McCord made. And I've got this one that's fully decked out with a camo cover. I got some pins that I'd made in school. Uh, and then cigarette pack I also printed out in school. Here's a, got, it's got the liner and all. Right here is this uh, nice field dressing from 1974, I'm pretty sure. Just show you guys a bit of the helmet. So I've got two utility shirts. Uh, this one's dated 1974. It's got a nice Army badge. And this one's named. You can see the US Marine Corps emblem, kind of faded. This one doesn't have a date, but it's real nice. Uh, all original. I got this nice pair of Vietnam era pants. Um, you can see all the buttons in the pockets. And then uh, I love this M1965 field jacket. Came with uh, the liner. The it's dated I think '75. Yep. Yeah. It's also got the hood zipped up in there. I'm trying to restore it currently. I get my sister to sew it up at least because it's full of rips and tears and finally we got uh, the US Marine Corps uh, uniform jacket it's real elegant and nice feel free to ask questions about any items in my collection down in the comments if you guys want to see more content about the Vietnam War uh, please subscribe because I also post interviews with Vietnam War veterans and World War II veterans which is pretty interesting um, and I'll be posting more content more often